herbicides we all know are the chemical compounds which are often used to control the growth of unwanted plants or to eliminate them now the common poisonous herbicides that are available in india are paraquat the glyphosate the preted lachlor etc as well as the ingestion of herbicides with suicidal intention is very common in rural india and west bengal but very scanty literature is available Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club your daily dose of health and medical news I am Dr Nandita Mohan and I am going to talk about a study of acute self poisoning by different types of herbicidal substances It is a known fact that herbicides are chemical substances and they are often used to kill plants specifically Now herbicide poisoning may be either an acute or a chronic condition and poisoning often occurs following a skin or an eye contact inhalation of the spray droplets or even vapors or even swallowing of the product per se So ingestion of herbicides could be accidental or intentional to bring self harm with suicidal intention even so in the absence of specific clinical features and diagnostic tests the diagnosis is completely based upon a reliable clinical history so because of the widespread availability the ingestion of herbicides with suicidal intention is very common in rural india so with the background of paucity of data as well as the unawareness of physicians the present study was carried out to create awareness among physicians regarding herbicide poisoning in humans So in the recent study that I'm going to talk about it was published in the journal of the associations of physicians of india where the researchers aimed to find out the case fatality rate as well as the clinical features of different types of herbicide poisoning in patients who were admitted in the department of medicine at midnapore medical college The study was a unicentric hospital based non-interventional cross-sectional study comprising of approximately 50 consecutive patients to estimate the morbidity the case fatality as well as the clinical features of acute suicidal poisoning of different herbicides that were used in agricultural fields data was collected from the history clinical features as well as the lab findings so the results of the study showed that most of the study population were from 26 to 40 years of age followed by the 13 to 25 year age group paraquat was ingested by 64% followed by pretilaclor as well as the glyphosate however the common symptoms were vomiting abdominal pain the throat discomfort oral ulcerations decreased urination and even respiratory distress so in the lab investigations 64% of the patients had deranged liver enzymes 58% patients had an acute kidney injury and 30% had alveolar damage so a total of 62% patients were discharged after recovery so the case fatality rate was narrowed down to the paraquat group was 56.2% glyphosate was 12.5% as well as the pretilaclor was nil therefore based on the findings the authors did conclude that herbicide sides like paraquat and glyphosate are associated with high morbidity and case fatality however paraquat has the highest case fatality rate but pre-emergent herbicide pretilaclor is definitely considered relatively safe that's all for today stay tuned to medical dialogues for latest updates never miss a medical update from medical dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon